All right, class, so this is a typical titration type problem where we're asked to solve for the pH at the equivalence point. And this problem is breaking it into two different pieces, essentially. First part is figuring out how much HCl solution we're going to add. And then the second part, we actually solve for the pH. So when I'm approaching a problem like this, um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little picture. I think that that really helps ground us in terms of what's going on and what, you know, sort of how to set the problem up. So in my flask, this would be my 35... 0 0.00 milliliters of the N2H4. And right away, when I'm looking at this N2H4, I'm going to say that that's a weak base. Because you're given this KB, that suggests that this is going to be a weak base. And then to that, we're going to be adding the HCl. So it says, imagine you have a 35 milliliter sample, that's this, and you want to titrate the sample with a solution of HCl. So this is my molarity of my HCl that I'm going to be adding in, titrating the sample. Question number one is asking how many milliliters of HCl solution will it take to reach the equivalence point. So we really need to have a good firm understanding of what equivalence point means. Equivalence point is going to be where the moles of added acid equal the moles of base that we started with. So the first thing that I would do is I would say, well, if we start with 0 0.03500 liters times 0 0.1986 molar, moles per liter, of my weak base, that equals six, oops, this should be an equal sign, equals six point 951 times 10 to the minus third moles of my N2H4. So this number of moles, that's going to be sort of what is present in this solution. And I'm going to need to add the same amount, same number of moles of HCl. So that's going to equal moles of HCl as well. And if I know my number of moles of HCl is equal to 6.951 times 10 to the minus third moles, and I want to convert that using this molarity to figure out how many liters or how many milliliters of that solution I'm going to need to add. I can just write that out as one liter over 0 0.3175 moles. So using this molarity as a conversion factor. So that's going to equal 0 0.02189 liters, which is equal to 21.9 milliliters. So this is my answer for question number one, just to recap, what does that represent? That represents the amount of HCl that I'm going to need to add in to get to the equivalence point. And the equivalence point is just simply when the moles of added acid, so take this number of volume, multiply by the molarity, you'll find how many moles of HCl we're adding, is going to equal the number of moles of N2H4 that we put in at the very beginning. Now, for step two, what we really need to recognize is sort of what is going to be present in my solution after I've added in that HCl. So if I write out a chemical reaction, we could say N2H4 is going to react with H+. So I'm just going to write H+, here, because I know that, that HCl is going to dissociate. It's a source of H+, the Cl- is going to be a spectator ion. I don't need to worry about that. And I'm going to form N2H5+. So this is a weak acid. I need to recognize that sort of as the conjugate acid of this weak base. And if I start with this 6.951 times 10 to the minus third moles, and I have 6.951 times 10 to the minus third moles of H plus, that's my equivalence point, then these are gonna cancel each other out essentially. That's gonna, they're both gonna be the limiting reactant. And at the end of this reaction, I'm gonna end up with 6.951 times 10 to the minus third moles of NH, N2H5 plus. So when I do this reaction, when I mix this HCl with this N2H4, we need to think what is gonna happen and what's gonna be remaining after that sort of thing has happened. What's gonna happen is this reaction that I've shown here. This is gonna be a neutralization reaction and I'm gonna form a weak acid. I'm gonna form N2H5 plus. This is my same number of moles, right? If I add equal number of moles of these two, they're both sort of the limiting reactant. And I'm gonna form 6.95 times the minus moles of N2H5 plus. Now I would, I would divide this by my total volume to figure out the molarity of N2H5, right? So divide by the total volume, which in this case is gonna be the 35 milliliters plus the 21.9 milliliters. So that's gonna equal, and I'm just gonna skip ahead here to get our molarity equals 0 0.1222 molar. So the total volume, I'll write that up here. Total volume after we've done the addition is gonna equal 0 0.05689 liters. So just adding 35 milliliters to 21.9 milliliters, converting to liters, you get this total volume. That's what I'm gonna plug in down here to get to this molarity. So what this is, is my molarity of N2H5+. That's a weak acid. 
So if I want to find the pH for this weak acid, then it just becomes a normal Ka type problem. I could write out N2H5 plus plus water, write out my Ka here. It's going to give me N2H4 plus H3O plus. Ka is going to equal, we're going to need to calculate that. Up here, we're given the Kb. And I know that Ka times Kb is equal to Kw. So I can use that information to basically solve for the Ka using this Kb that's been given. If I do that, I get a value of 7.94 times 10 to the minus ninth. And now I've got my initial molarity here, 0 0.1222 molar. And this becomes a simple ice table, minus x, 0, 0 initially, plus x, plus x, 0 0.1222 one, two, 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 minus x, x, and x. So this bottom part now is just a simple Ka solving for the, the pH of a weak acid. 7.94 times 10 to the minus ninth equals x times x over 0 0.1222 minus x. This minus x is gonna be negligible. I know that because this Ka is so small. This term plus x minus x will be so small. We can always do that double check, but rest assured that this x value should be negligible. And the x value equals 3.11 times 10 to the minus fifth. And that is equal to my concentration of H3O plus or H plus. So I can solve from the pH directly from that and that equals a pH of 4.51. So that is my pH at the equivalence point. So in this problem, you know, there's a lot going on. Um, we need to first be able to identify what happens when I mix these things together, right? That's gonna be this chemical reaction here. Um, here I found the amount of HCl that we're gonna to need to get to that equivalence point. So I need to actually, I need to know what equivalence point means as well. Um, and then ultimately solve for the pH using a simple Ka type problem. Um, you know, just with the Ka and my initial concentration of N2H5, which comes from the amount of, you know, N2H4 that we started with.